Hello everyone, this Christonian here with Burns Games and we're playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. On our last episode, we uh, finished uh, the Kingmaker saga uh, for East Anglia. Uh, we went back to base, upgraded our hammer, and uh, we went and uh, had a romantic day with uh, Siegfried's wife, because that's just how we roll. And uh, she went back to base without us, so uh, we started looting this area. Oh, stuff down here. Valuable ring. Adventure note. It worked. That clever bastard. I know where I am, nor how I got here. Uh, what I do know that as I'm in the possession of a treasure, that will fetch a high price. Is this magic or sorcery? Does my unconscious mind root my treasures while under the effect of this incredible elixir? I must know more. I must wet my lips with another taste. But first, I must find another way out of here. The path below the water is too long for me to swim. So, and then he died. <laughs> um, I just want to see, yeah, on this side here... Does this look like you could actually dive and everything? I just want to see if there's another way out of here. Or any treasure down here or anything. It's still the way I came. Okay. our horsey here. We'll set back to camp. I think there was a mystery between us and camp, but we'll see. Yeah, only 200 meters away. That still says I'm missing something. Oh, maybe it's beyond. It's on the other side of the waterfall. Up and over. Yeah, so it must be this island here. Oh, no. it's in the water. Forget about him. Oh, is this the nudie place? That blasted windshield. Will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. <laughs> so it must be right here. Uh, where the treasure is. Yeah. Yeah. Haste weapon. Weapon roll. Interesting. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. A uh, decree against Winchell. My decree of many nobles of Grantenburg and the hundred of Whitmount, Lavarius, blah blah blah. We no longer 
criminal. He has forbidden us speaking or holding court in our waters for the nude and privacy. <laughs> he should be removed by force. The merry nobles of Grantham. Grantham. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. Weird. 75 meters, so it must be. I gotta go talk to him. We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. Let's go talk to the naked man. Lack of clothes brings me joy. Not even naked, but Yet back the then. Sect of pious nudists tossed me aside. Nudists, those who bear their skin for pleasure. Indeed, we, we bear our skin at all times in the tradition of great Greeks and Romans. Yet some say I am too enthusiastic. Nude in prayer, at meal times, at work, in the streets and alehouses, everywhere. For Jesus loves us best as we were born. But the group I founded has expelled me. Oh, if I could exact revenge, steal their clothes, and render them nude forever, I would. So basically, he wants to steal their clothes. That assembly of traitors act like all is well. well one day, I will head down there and render them eternally. <laughs> God, the water's deep enough. A fair Dane joins the ranks of the liberated. Oh, that's the crate where we put our clothes. Feel free to store yours in there, too. <laughs> Greetings, Dane. This is our private celebration of skin. We are open to all who strip. Would you join us? Uh, the name Wexel mean anything to you? How does one join the group? I would be honored to join your group. Where do I place my clothes so I can start dancing? Wonderful! A new member. Simply place your clothes in that crate hidden by the tent and partake in the liberation. There's a fresh, gorgeous beast of a soul joining us. Oh, that's the crate where we put our clothes. Feel free to store yours in there, too. Just put your... Hey! Stop that! Put it down! Our clothes! Leave them! Stop it! They... Dead. Now you're nude forever, as Winchell wanted. Now they will adhere to your principles. Yes! You have carried out my revenge. Wonderful. Now they must revel in their nudeness forever. If you like, I have a luminous text with my teachings. A breviary of why one must trust their body's exposed sinew. Enjoy. Be well, Winchell the chest free. Oh. Chest free. <laughs> Winchell the robes free. Oh. He's known of. Huh.
Norseman's offering. Tomorrow we battle. Me and my brother. This feud between us has reached its apex. It shall end with one of us standing over the corpse of the other with our sons bearing witness. Grant me victory, Odin, and I will make it the purpose to raise my son and nephew into the finest wor warriors worthy to s a seat at your table. Ten bullheads. Interesting. Ah, oh, that's what those things are. I'm supposed to bring stuff to them, so this one had something too. I need your eyes, my friend. Cast about this land, my friend. You're 100% on wealth. Mm -hmm. Collected all the wealth. Yeah, it was when I was in the grotto or yeah. whatever. Behind the waterfall. And that, when I picked up that, that was the last one. <laughs> Ah, that's what it is. It's a ruin on the mountain. I don't know what it is. That's why I wanted to see what it was. Because I've never been exposed to it kind of way. Strange column. I am struck by unusual stone structures found in the tombs. I cannot believe that the Britons who live in huts of hay could have carved such columns. Some long-forgotten people must have uh, erected them. Uh, Menius Culvis, engineer to the Empire. So it's a ancient site. Menius Sectum. <laughs> I know you to be a capable engineer with cunning and sometimes diabolical imagination. I am therefore assigning you this weighty commission. The barbarians of Britain have taken the gathering at the tombs of their heroes as if it is a sacred shrine. Uh, there they ferment rebellion against Rome and therefore against my very person. This cannot be tolerated. However, Manus, I consulted my soothsayer, a uh, man of subtle knowledge, uh, tells me that to defile the tombs or even to seal them away would bring a storm of ill fortune upon me personally. You see the problem. You must leave the tombs unharmed, but endeavor to make access to them 
uh, perilous as to be unthinkable. I am not asking you uh, of a favor. Uh, this is a command of your emperor, Nero. <laughs> yeah, look at the bricks down here. That's weird. Okay, so... Uh, I believe it's triangle. Whoa! Don't see that too often. Usually it's just one. Oh, three. Uh, the opals are what are used to get the super unique stuff. With the little kid merchants all over the place. pressure plates to access the final chamber certain pressure plates are activated with movable structures others require a specific object I need something very heavy to weigh this down this could be useful I'm trying to get it through the hole. game thought it was the shield insisted upon it yeah see I was thinking about shooting those because those are like the weight the bags or whatever wonder if I could uh... cool this is the ancient work of Romans Fancy. I bet you this is like a big story thing and we just haven't seen it because we never uh, went this way. Is this England? Odd. Ah. Some location somewhere. Final conundrum. Uh, all the tombs are now protected by my contraptions, yet I am defeated by this final entrance. What could lie behind it? How does one open its odd gateway? It is perhaps the one problem I cannot solve. Sealed tight. No way to open this. So, maybe there's a way to swing that over and then drop it on it, maybe? Plus, we have the room over here. Yeah. We can check. Now that we have his workshop key. Yeah. Okay, 
notes from the engineer, Emperor Nero has given me a task born of madness. I'm to prevent the Bretons from gathering at the Tomb of Fallen Heroes, yet I cannot simply just build a wall. Our mad emperor insists that it be possible to approach the tombs, but mandates that all that attempt to do so shall perish. My duty is as his wishes, however nonsensical. So it shall be. Ooh, there's traps. Okay, I lured the credulous Britons into one of the spinning traps. Successful dismemberment. Uh, the test with the animals went badly. I must sharpen the spikes. Lunker. The Tomb of the Fallen has... Ooh, Fallen Hero Cape. You have my interest. Increases armor, melee damage, and range. Getting hit drops a pulse that explodes. How do I read more of that? That's too bad. The wolf clan. Yeah. Because that's wolf and that's bear. But it's interesting because it does everything. Melee damage and range damage and armor. So it's probably the best that you can probably get. Haha. -ha. Nice try. Yeah, I don't even think that treasure showed up on the map, so that's interesting. Like you said, glow in the dark. Mm, something up on there. Because it's glowing. So I think we need the climb. And then jump across. Shoot or cut. Maybe you have to do something at each of those locations? And yeah, well, I'm thinking is that like it's no longer glowing. One is in Wessex for sure. Yeah, so one is like Wessex down here, and then one is over here. And then it looks like there's two or three in Umbria. I think we're I think we're right there. Oh well, maybe not. Because we're right here. And then, like I said, the two way up there are up, up in uh, Northumbria somewhere. Yeah. I wonder if I could fast travel from here so I don't have to climb out. Well, they do have their own symbol. Oh, and these things, uh, oh, it tells me, good. So I need bullhead for that, ten. See, and I'm thinking that's what this needs, because I'm pretty sure that needed something, too. That's seal hedge. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can fast pull from here. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to come back the way again.
Okay, so we'll go get the alliance, the next alliance thing, and then we'll have a party. Yes, yes, one more, and only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one, this one. We still have in the, yeah, we still only have one fabric versus we've been finding titanium left, right, and center. So I'd like to get that up. Four there, two there. Yeah, that's not even worth it. It's only two arrows. This is another rations would be massive. Oh yeah, let's do the store while I'm here. Evil. I would like to see what you have in stock. You know you have use for this. You will get so much use out of this. Perfect. I'll stand shut. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Until next time, Eivor. So I think it was her that... Oh, no, maybe not. Someone lost their husband. I thought it was her, though. Good day to you. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. Randy, you left so suddenly. There is work to be done. There always is. I see. But do not think for a moment that I have forgotten you and our wonderful day. Nor would I wish you to. Good. Then we see eye to eye. And heart to heart. Yes, indeed. Until our next moment alone, we should return to our great work. England will not pacify itself on our behalf. No, indeed. Back to work, then. Kiss her. Invite her to bed. Break up. I'll just give you a kiss. Like I come to you, I heard you say that. Hey, lady. I want to see the alliance map. Okay, so we got those three. Oh, we got a new one here. 130 for money. Uh, 90 for that. And 90 for that. So we need this to upgrade our place, so let's do this first, and then we'll do that right next afterwards. It's funny that that's so small. Oh, that's London. That's why it's actually like London, London. Okay, and then Windshire is down here. Those were the two. And then that's Kent uh, instead of Sent. The well, County of Kent. Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. Buckingham? Buckingham Palace? And that's where Sigurd is. So I'm going to push the force. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenfordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. So this one, we're brewing rebellion. Uh, we also have our room over here, so we'll just check before we go. Sometimes we get come. letters and stuff. Okay, uh, Ravens. Thorpe is growing fast. We're now a hamlet, busier than ever. Oh, yeah, yeah, we already have this. Oh, it's over here. That's why. Yeah. 
Ivor, I pray this letter finds you well, and my son. Colbert has written me a few times now, often in so much detail, it is as though I'm there. He admires you, trusts you, it warms my heart to know he has someone to look up to. I know you will do the right by him. As for myself, I have settled nicely into my new role, my court is behind me, and I have the people's loyalty. For the first time in a long time, Mercia is stable. It is thanks to you, King Selworth II. I think going to sleep just changes the time of day, which is not a big deal. So, let's ring the bell! Ring the bell! And gives us 25 health for the next little bit. Morale boost. I also want to just go down near the river and see if there's anybody to recruit. Hit the road, Jack, and don't Long look back. Who do you work for? Who is your lord? While you were away, your Joms Vikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. I would like to reorganize the crew. Good for now? I'm off. You well, friend. Okay. So, where does it want us to go? Is down into there. Let's just do that. We'll uh, fast travel to there. To the waves. Let's just go to the brother, uh, just in case, because there's no point in raiding uh, these places in case the missions are actually there, you know. And then if we uh, complete the area without raiding it, then we'll actually complete the raid. Run up the Oxenshire. So it says 90 power level for this area, and we're 97, so...
The only other thing we could do is if we see a bird thing, but... Into the heart of Oxenshire or whatever. You just ground the boat, guys. Look at it, it's not shallow. Yeah. Let the sail out. Uh, I think that's the dock over there, so I just want to map that first. Travels map, so we have the new dock here, so we can fast travel in the future. Stretch your wings sooner. There's armor here, a stables, quite a few things to do here. Angry note, I drove your cart into the river. If you will not teach you to keep your civil tongue in your mouth, then there is no hope for you.
People of Bucca has proclaimed that following the death of Erman, his widow lady will assume all powers, responsibilities, and prerogatives of his title. All oaths and obligations made to Ford Shire are hereforth to be sworn by a person of all people in the Shire. Mm -hmm. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I'm asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. I'll blow my horn and bring my thing. Soldiers won't ho help, so I can threaten. I can pay 130, or I can use my charisma. I know you're an. You seem sword. to respect this man, Giedrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for the Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Axenaford Shire to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman who'll stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Sigurd and Basson headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Coming in. These soldiers are tightly wound. Jet, need to get on the other side. Oh! 
blow it up! What are you doing? Climb, woman. Just gonna hang here until I get shot? Smells like a fish house. Wait! Stop! Alan, what's the Alan, Eivor? We could have caught you to bloody giblets, we've kissed. Wise our nerve, brother. It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. Good to see you again. But I wasn't speaking to you. Where are you here at all? It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be fortune alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Ava, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidrids has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned the Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with the promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. 
Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount the surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. The Paladin Stone. Excalibur? Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, for he is wise and forthright, and he has opened my eyes to <laughs> Basim is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright, and he has opened my eye. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the Lords of Mercia, then all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face, and heard the litany of my forefathers, and... Well, there will be time enough for my saga later. Oh, we forgot to check our boat for our cat. Rooms. I'll take them. Fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy ass bastard Alfred. We won't have it. You're not the Elderman here, Lady Edwin. Turn around and walk away, and we'll leave you be. You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care, for you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms, free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. 
I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. Kidditch, what have they done to you? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? This is Aver, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Aver, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Gidrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, I. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where is with... she? Fane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands, but he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where, and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leech Vila garrison. Batin, Eivor, to horse! All right, thanks for coming by, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe as always. And see you guys next time. Bye for now.